Place the board in the board holder, unlock the board holder, and center the component over the small preheater. Place the thermocouple under the BGA or near the solder joint. Secure with Kapton tape and plug the thermocouple into the TC1 input. Left click New Remove Profile. Left click Auto Profile. And then left click to unlock the profile. Make the estimated changes for the heater temperatures. Pull out the camera, center the vacuum tube over the component using the fine adjustment micrometers. Return the camera and push the Z axis button and position the reflow head with a one to two millimeter clearance above the component. Lower the vacuum nozzle until the vacuum indicator light turns blue. Then, Raise the tube slightly until the light turns off to allow room for the solder to expand during reflow. Left click the scorpion button to run the profile. If needed, adjust the profile by adding a new zone, changing the heater temperatures in that zone, and left clicking cycle advance to enter the newly created zone. Ensure the vacuum indicator light is on during reflow, confirming vacuum suction on the component. At the beginning of the last zone, the vacuum tube will retract, lifting the component off the board. Lift the head back up to the home position. At the end of the cooling zone, press OK to turn off the vacuum and release the component. Left click Save Profile and give the profile a name identifying the part being removed. Left click open and select the required removal profile. Left click unlock profile. Right click placement profile to change the current removal profile into a placement profile. Left click on save profile and give the profile a name identifying the part being placed. Place the board in the board holder, unlock the board holder, and center the component pad over the small preheater. Press the X axis button to slide the placement head to the home position. Right click open profile and select the required placement profile. Left click the scorpion button with pick above to activate the vacuum. Place the component in the V-block. Place the V-block on the component tray. Press the green check mark to lower the placement nozzle to the component. Press the green check mark again to lift the component off the V-block. 
Remove the V-block and place the dip plate with flux on the component tray. Press the green check mark to dip the component into the flux and press again to lift the component. Pull out the camera and use the board holder micrometers to align the component apertures to the pads on the board. Use the remote for pitch and rotation of the component. Press the red X once aligned to return the component to the home position. Return the camera and press the Z axis button to drop the head and press the green check mark to lower the component to the board. Press the scorpion button with place above it to release the component. Press the red X on the remote to return the placement nozzle. Lift the head back up to the home position. Press the X axis button to slide the reflow head to the home position and pull out the camera to ensure the reflow nozzle is surrounding the component. Click the scorpion button to start the profile. For more information, please visit apr-rework.com.